Okay, so we got this far with our styling in the last tutorial, so I'm just going to carry on where we left off. And I said that the forms at the minute are looking pretty cruddy, if I'm honest. So we're going to start by styling up these forms a little bit. Now, every form on the website has a class of site-form, and we can see that right here somewhere. Yep, site-form. So let's do an overall style for all of these forms. And this style is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to say margin hyphen top is about 60 pixels, just to bring it down a little bit. The border is going to be one pixel solid, and it's going to be that green color. So we'll do 0, 0, DB, A0. Okay, cool. And also the padding is going to be around 20 pixels all the way around. Okay, so that's looking a bit better already. The next thing we want to do is style the inputs and the text areas. Now there's no text area on this, so let's just copy this, paste it over here in styles.css so that we can navigate away from this page and we can log in and maybe go to add a new article where there is a text area right there. So let us now style this up. So again, site hyphen form, and we're going to target the input fields and site hyphen form text area okay so we're targeting both of these things at the same time they're both going to display as block now that will move everything to its own line and that already looks 10 times better we'll say also that they're all going to have a margin of 20 pixels at the top zero to the left uh, to the right zero at the bottom and zero to the left and we'll also give each one a padding of around 10 pixels okay then so that's looking better already as well now what I'd like to do is move on to this thing up here remember we said that this had a class of highlight I want this to look slightly different this button or this link right here so let us go to the sources again and say a dot highlight and we'll give this a border first of all guess what color this border is gonna be one pixel solid yep it's that kind of bluey green thing so zero zero d b and then a zero cool um the padding is going to be around 10 pixels awesome and the font size is going to be in fact the font size is fine we'll keep it as is we're also going to say the border radius is going to be about four pixels is that working no nope, because i've spelled border incorrectly that's fine just to give it that softer edge and then finally we're going to give it the same color as the border so the color is going to be hash zero zero db a zero awesome so that looks a little bit more enticing now makes you want to click it a little bit more so the next thing i'd like to do is move on to the help text that is provided by the forms so to do that i'm going to navigate to a different page so let me copy all that jazz so far paste it all in the styles to update it and over here, what I'd like to do is log out first of all, then we'll go to sign up because I want to style all of this help text right now. So let's right click and inspect these dudes to see the class. There it is, help text. So let's grab that and in the sources, paste it in, give ourselves a bit of room. Now this help text, I don't want to do that much to it to be honest, but I also want to style up the UL inside it. So we'll do a little comment and say help text ul as well and the only things i'm going to do inside here is strip out the margin at the top left and right is auto that should be zero at the top auto left and right and at the bottom we'll say 20 pixels okay now the color of this is going to be slightly darker so bbb which is kind of like a gray color just to fade it out a little bit um the font size Let's go with, let's see what one in, um, um, we'll say 0.8 M's, no, 0.9, that's fine, something like that, 0.9 M's, um, will that do, we'll just finally display as block, like so, that's a bit better, that moves this down to the next line, okay, so that is looking a little bit better, so I'm going to grab all this, copy and paste it into the styles because what I want to do now is some kind of error on here so if I try and sign up with Mario again and it doesn't really matter what the password is I suppose because we're gonna get an error regardless now 
a user with that username already exists. So I want to style this a little bit differently. So we can right click this and inspect to see what the class is somewhere. It's error list right here. So let's copy that dude. So dot error list and then the li inside it, first of all, we'll say padding is 10 pixels. Uh, the list style type is going to be a non to strip away that little circle. Um, also, I'm going to say the border is one pixel solid. And then we're going to use a color, which hash is FF5722. So it's kind of like a ready pink color, which is like warning. And we get this one down here as well. We can see that. Okay, cool. Um, the color of the text is also going to be the same. So we'll say color and set that equal to FF5722. Okay, cool. Then finally, I want to get rid of the margin to the left and right, but margin top and bottom will keep. So we'll say margin is 10 pixels, top and bottom, and then zero left and right. Okay, that will do for now. Uh, the error list itself is going to have a padding of zero to strip out any space in. So we'll grab that. This is the UL and we'll say padding is going to be zero. That scoots it along to the edge. Awesome. This is looking pretty good now. And then finally, this submit button down here, I want to style a little differently as well. So we'll say site hyphen form, which is the class of all forms. So this is going to grab it on every single form. I presume the type of this is going to be a submit and then inside we're going to say the background of this button is going to be that greeny color again so that's hash zero zero db a zero we also want to give this a border of zero the color is going to be fff white and then the font size is going to be like 1.2 m uh, just a little bit bigger and then we'll give this a border hyphen radius of four pixels and then a margin as well of 10 pixels top and bottom zero left and right so that button is slightly nicer as well so there we go that should pretty much do it let's grab all of this and paste it over here save that and let's view this in a browser now okay this is all looking a bit better so let's log in I'm gonna log in as Yoshi just for the hell of it and say test one two three four so log in and okay, so that's not right. Let's just do my own username, Sean, and then test one, two, three, four, log in. Hopefully this works, there we go. So now everything is looking a lot better than it was before, okay? So there's one more lesson I'd like to do and that is a lesson on the front end using some JavaScript so that when you type in a title over here, so for example, hello world, ideally, in a lot of content management systems, it kind of pre-populates the slug field. So this would be hello hyphen world, and it's going to pre-populate that for you based on what you type in here. So I'm going to show you how we can do something like that in the very next tutorial.